Hello friends, I am Bhavna Pant Borai. I teach mathematics in St. Mary's School. Today, I am going to discuss about a very interesting topic, conic section using activity based approach. And you know, this topic we generally take for standard 10th and 11th in most of the school. The main objective of this lesson was to explain the formation of conic sections, to explain the derivation of equation of various conic sections and to verify the various properties related to the different conic sections. For all the activities which we are going to do in this lesson, the material required are a carrot, an ink pad, a knife, some graph sheets and some pieces of threads. To start with, I made groups of students and gave 2-3 carrots to each group. Each member of the group cut the carrot at different angles and showed its impression that of conic sections and asked them to take the impression on the graph sheet of the various cuts. After distributing the materials required for doing the activities, my students came up with a very interesting question. Ma'am, why are we taking only carrot as a natural cone? Can't we take some other vegetable in place of carrot? I told them that carrot is actually a tap root. So, locating the center of the carrot after cutting it is going to be very easy. With the other vegetables or fruit, locating that center is going to be a tedious task. I was happy to see that my students were able to visualize mathematics. They were actually able to visualize the shapes parabola, circle and ellipse. Here, my intention was actually to make my students get acquainted with the terminology like latus rectum, focus, directrix, which are actually new for them. So, the new terminology should not hinder the concept of conic section in their mind. That is the reason why activity based approach is chosen. One important thing which we have to note here that we require a double cone for understanding the concept of conic section. A double cone is a cone when two cones are attached from each other at its vertex. And the plane used to cut for forming all the shapes of conic section. In our activity, our knife acted as a plane. After some time, the students came up with different cuts, which I realized that some of the cuts were accurate for going ahead with the conic section. But yes, I found some of the cut which were little unusual. I kept them aside to take them for the later use. The next activity which I did with the student was about the first and the most basic conic section that is circle. The students knew that to get a circle, the carrot has to be cut perpendicular to the carrot's axis. Then they dipped it in ink and made an impression on graph paper. I motivated them to derive the equation of the circle using the distance formula which they have learned in their earlier classes. With some initial guidance, the students could derive the equation of the circle. I now brought in some creativity and showed the students various flashcards showing Havra Bridge, the entry and exit of various forts and temples especially in India and the amusement rides in fair. The students recognized them all having a common shape and I informed them that this is a shape called parabola. To get a parabola, the carrot has to be cut at an angle. Then the top part of this piece needs to be cut dip it in ink and make an impression on graph paper. 
my students were really excited to take the impression of parabola on the graph sheet and then verifying the properties of parabola using the pieces of thread. I introduced the parts of parabola, focus, directrix, vertex, latest rectum and then I guided them to derive the equations of the parabola. I then asked my students if they had ever seen or heard about amphitheatres of Rome and to my surprise my students were aware about it. They have studied about it in history. Then I asked them, do you know the reason that why artists without using microphone could be heard in the whole theatre? They were clueless about it. Here I introduced to them about the property of the next conic section that is an ellipse. So I told my students to take the section of carrot which gave the impression of an ellipse. They soon realize that cutting across the carrot at an angle will give an ellipse. I then told them about the way to locate the center and introduce the major axis, minor axis, vertex and focal points. I guided them to derive the equation of an ellipse. After doing all these activities, I realized that my students were much more clear about the concept. We then moved forward and ventured into the world of conic section. Hope you will also take these activities in your classes while teaching conic section. And I am pretty sure that your students are going to enjoy this way of teaching. For that, the link of the lesson plan is given in the description box. Thank you for watching.